Well, this week we are bringing you Christmas miracles as families who are struggling during the holidays get much needed cheer with help from our Spencer Salza team. Tonight to end the week, he's introducing us to the Pell family. They're a family of four with just one wish this holiday season. Push as hard as you can. Push. Push. It's not anything close to the way Stephen Pell and his wife Erin planned on spending this Christmas season. Yeah, you push down. Constantly working out on physical therapy just to make it possible for Stephen to keep on moving. Can you bring him down? You see, six months ago, Stephen was nearly crushed to death on the job. He was helping to move a manufactured home that suddenly slipped off of his support rods, crushing Steve underneath, breaking his back in several places. The prognosis is we should prepare for him never to walk again. Um, there is a 0.2% chance that he will regain some sort of feeling. No temptation has overtaken you. Now, paralyzed from the waist down, Steve is unable to work for some time. And to make matters worse, at the time of the accident, he had no health insurance. All of which means he and his family are now being crushed by mounting medical bills. The medical bills are over 375,000. Things are literally paycheck to paycheck. I get disconnected notices every week. And it's just by the grace of God that they haven't come and taken the car or turned off the lights. Now, days before Christmas, the Pells agonize over not being able to provide any kind of a Christmas celebration for their two little girls, eight-year-old Autumn and 10-year-old Lily, at a time when they simply need it the most. I was like, like the dad, I was like the Superman. I was the provider, you know, the one to protect her. And so it's, with uh, Aaron having to step and do all that, it just, it's really hard for me. To Made Christmas happen for my girls so that on Christmas day, they will have a little bit of childhood still in them. To be able to provide them even a little bit of Christmas joy is all the Christmas I want. Well, we hear you, Aaron, and we're ready to grant your wish. And to deliver some joy today. It's a good day. We're doing it with help from Academy Sports and Outdoors and with our very own Christmas angel, Laura Alexis. I want to introduce you to an incredibly generous woman who is going to make your Christmas for you. On behalf of myself and Innovative Lasers of Houston, please accept this donation for $1,500 so that you can have a Christmas tree and Christmas ornaments and presents. Will you accept? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, so much so. Thank you. So much. You don't know how much this means. You are most welcome. <laughs> and for those two beautiful little girls, these brand new bikes from Academy. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. I really like it. This is a really good Christmas present. Our final gift to you this Christmas is this $1,000 gift card from Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can use this to buy anything you want for the kids. Just thank you from the bottom of our heart. We have all come together to help ensure that the girls have a great Christmas. So thank you, really thank you. They are such a beautiful family. They deserve the best Christmas ever. And now I want to tell you my biggest Christmas wish. If you've been moved by any of our stories this week, that you would like to reach out and help someone that you know in need, I'd like you to do that. It could be anyone, someone on your block or at your job or at the grocery store or where you get your coffee. If you know anyone who's struggling right now, give them something, anything you can afford over the next two days to show that you care. And if you do that, please have someone videotape you doing that and then send it to me just to upload that video or the photos to click two pins on the KPRC2 weather app under the Something Good channel. Then I can use that next week to inspire everyone to hopefully do the same thing. We can all help at Christmas. Let's prove to everyone that the Christmas spirit is alive and well here in Houston and living in every one of us. You know, mm. Such an important message, not only this time of year, but every mm. day of the year. If you can help somebody out, do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Houstonians yeah. love to do that for sure. Something. Giving is contagious, so let's do it, right? Great, great challenge, great challenge. Yeah. Okay. And a great week of stories once again, Joel. Thank you. And the Spencer Indeed. Solves a Team, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. Okay, the Citywide Club.